All right guys, in today's video, we are going to go through the number one mistake that most introverts make during their interviews and more importantly, how to fix it. So for those of you who are new, my name is Katie. I am a coach with Career Sprout, where we help people transition into jobs that they really love, working with companies that they really admire. On average, it takes us about 63 days and we can increase somebody's salary by about $37,000. And a big reason for those salary bumps, a big reason for those transitions is the interview. That's one of the biggest parts that either propels people forward or holds them back from getting paid what they're really worth. So let's dive in here. All right, guys. Now, this is the comprehensive playbook to crush any interview. Now, we're not going to go through this whole thing. I'll link it below in the comments so you guys have access to it. But what I really wanted to focus on today was where the number one sticking point for most introverts, which is as you scroll down here, you'll see um, you want to get your interviewer looking at you as though you are their friend. You want to build rapport. And this is something that I've found a lot, not all, but a lot of introverts will really struggle with building that rapport because it feels fake. It feels superficial. It feels surface level. And how could you possibly, you know, build rapport, build a relationship with somebody, a meaningful relationship in, you know, a 20 to 60 minute interview or an hour and a half interview, especially when you're so nervous trying to talk about yourself? Well, the way you do it, and this is actually a super power, super strength, uh, superman, whatever skill you want to call it for introverts. Because the best way to do that is not to talk about yourself. The best way to do that is to ask your interviewer about them, learn more about them. And that's something that introverts, where especially the type of introvert that is really curious um, and wants to learn, wants to listen, prefers to do less of the talking, that is your goal in the interview. Your goal should not be to brag about yourself or talk about yourself the whole time. Your goal is to get the interviewer talking about themselves and the company as much as possible. This is really important. So the best way to do that is to ask questions about them and the company and get them speaking so that, um, especially as you get into more senior roles, what you need to be able to do is get an accurate lay of the land for the company, the specific team, the specific projects, the specific circumstances that they are bringing you in to solve. You wanna get a really accurate lay of the land and then be able to accurately diagnose what their problems are and prescribe solutions, oftentimes including you based on your past experience. Um, you wanna prescribe solutions to their specific problems. You don't only wanna talk about you or how you've solved other companies' problems because if it's not an identical match, they're not gonna, it's gonna be a jump for them to see like, okay, yeah, this person can solve our specific problems and you will lose out to candidates. And this happens all the time where you'll make it through multiple interview rounds, which means you clearly have the skills, you clearly have what they need, but then you lose the last round or you don't get the job offer. And it's because you spent time talking about you too much rather than listening to what they need. And introverts, um, we tend to get really anxious uh, in those circumstances and try to focus and we rehearse and we practice all of these different ways of how we want to present ourselves because obviously that's, that is an important part of the interview, but it's not nearly as important as listening. So for introverts, when you are trying to build rapport with your interviewer, it's very important that you ask them questions. Now, there's a ton of questions in here um, that you can pick and choose from. Don't ask all of them. There's like 150 of them. Pick a handful of them. And it's really simple. You always start with the same question. You always end with the same question. And then you can sprinkle other ones out in between. Now, again, this will, this, I don't want to spend too much time on the video here because you can take this, uh, I'll put the link in the description below um, and you can read through it. But the biggest, biggest thing I want to share with you guys is that you need to build that rapport and you need to listen. A lot of folks, um, they will get here and they will focus all of their time trying to say, yes, I can do this job. They focus all of this time trying to prove that they can do this job. And you are going against a lot of interviewers who are all doing that. So if you put yourself in the shoes, in the role of the interviewee, of the interviewer, they are sitting there listening to people talk about themselves for hours, each day, each week, each month, until that role is filled. You want them to feel like you genuinely care about them 
and that they can work with you every single day. If you guys have ever worked with or met up with a friend who only talks about themselves, you know how draining that is. You know what that feels like. There needs to be that give and take. And that's where introverts struggle quite a bit. They either don't have any questions or they don't know how to engage the other person. Um, They don't know how to ask questions without sounding awkward. So this guide is going to be your uh, this should be your Bible of the of the interview process. This is your playbook to make sure that you know which questions to ask, when to ask them, and how to stay calm throughout that interview. So um, any questions that you guys have, feel free to leave them in the comments below, or you can shoot us over an email, info at careersprout.com. And I hope you guys hope this helped and you guys land some high quality interviews and even more importantly, some high quality job offers. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.